Welcome back to another episode of Watching Baseball, and we are moving on up to the 1979 World Series. We started in 72 with the Oakland A's. They dominated for a bit. Then we went to the Reds. They won two in a row. Then we went to the Yankees. They won two in a row. And now in 79, it is the Baltimore Orioles versus the Pittsburgh Pirates, two teams with yellow and orange in their colors. Vibrant World Series. Two, one team yellow, one team orange. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two vibrant colors. Two vibrant colors, we'll say. Um, Not your traditional red, white, and blue teams. And James, it's funny you said we started in 1972, because if we had started in 1971, we would have seen these two very same teams. Eight years later, a couple hangover guys. You kind of probably more than you'd see nowadays if you saw teams link up eight years later. But each team had a couple guys. And these teams, as you mentioned, were behind some powerhouse teams uh, in each of their leagues. They all had, both of these teams had 90 plus win years where they didn't make the playoffs. It makes you really think like, wow, wild card nowadays is really good. Yeah, only um, two teams made the playoffs from each league. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we've got some good ball players here, and we were we didn't find a ball game that fit our exact mold of what we've been doing. There's a couple options, but uh, no walk off, no extra inning game, and we we searched for a big moment. Like yeah. What was the memorable play? And from our results, nothing came. I'm sure someone will know of something and, yeah, and comment it below, and we'll see. Maybe we'll do it again. Willie Stargell hits a go-ahead home run in Game 7, but it's like the sixth inning, and then they put on some tack-on runs, so it's not like, yeah. eh. Okay. Um, but this game stuck out to us. We've got – it's a 6-3 Pirates lead. Uh, so the Orioles are down three runs in the top of the eighth, um, and the Orioles are leading this series 2-1. to one. Orioles are leading the series 2-1. to one. They're losing – Going into the eighth inning. Six to three. Pirates would be tying it up. Yes. And where's this game taking place? Uh, you're about to see. It's in Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh, which almost doesn't look like a baseball field. No, and like Pittsburgh has such a beautiful stadium now. This place. And it doesn't get better than starting off with Kiko Garcia. We love our pirates. We're still the one. Hi, mom. A L D D and Howie. And these are the We Are Family Pirates, as they're known. They adopted that song. We are family. Willie Stargell, a couple other cats. Now, I don't know a lot about pirates history. Sure. But things get filtered down to you. I don't know why he's complaining. That was a really nice pitch and a strike. Yeah. Things get filtered down to you, and you hear about old ballpark barks and like the things that are celebrated in baseball. Yeah, I've never heard of this stadium. It's a football stadium. I mean, it's where the Steelers played. Oh, okay. Yeah, I but I never knew that this like I've never heard anyone clamor for the Pirates to play here again. This is awful. Yeah, I mean it's the old AstroTurf that's just where are you with these unis? It's so weird for those not to be throwbacks. Yeah. You think of those, and you're like, oh, they're wearing their fun throwbacks. Yeah. It's like, no, this was the, the times. Yeah, and I think, I think having no fans in the background, like Cleveland is that way too. It just sucks, man. They have to zoom out after every pitch to try and get some fan reaction. Little reaction, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think you would have hated this World Series. I think this was a big. Oh, that, that hurt. This who's was this, a big who's uni- this catcher? This was a big uniform time, so I think the Pirates wore like four different uniforms during this, the, just the World Series. I think the Orioles wore, wore three different ones or something. It's nice. Got to excite people. 14 hits already for Pittsburgh. You want a Pirates catcher? I know nothing about We know Ken Singleton and... Um, Dave Skaggs. And Eddie, Eddie Mur- Dave Skaggs, huh? Dave Skaggs. Oh, Kiko threw his bat there. Staying alive. Ah, 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 yeah. And this is the a, age of disco, Jay. This is Howard Cosell on the call. We got yelled at for that. Okay. Um, I mean, I know who Howard Cosell is, and obviously everyone knows who Howard Cosell is, but right. watching a baseball game wasn't just going to pick his voice out of a random. Look at Joe Alphabelli. Look at Joe Alphabelli. Kiko. Ooh. Wow. Oh, my. This 
field See, is. I'm not going to be able to get over this field, and I apologize no, in advance. Yeah. But that is. Look at that guy. Who is that? And by the way, let's. Who's the manager? Is it let's, Earl? Let's mark. It's Earl Weaver versus. I forget the Pirates manager. So well, loop little, shot. Little jam shot there, and again, we know what's coming, but that's one you mark down because the right fielder had a shot at it. Look at the second baseman. Classic. It's up there. Let's see how close he is. And if this is a baseball field, maybe he dives, but he's not diving on this shit. No. That's what I was going to say. Look at Kenny. Ken Singleton. We're very familiar with Kenny. He calls some Yankee games. Double hat. Strong. Dude, it kind of looks like an Oriole. Like the double hat? It looks like an Oriole's mouth. Oh, wow. How about that? Yeah. Huge insight from Jake there. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm here, people. All right. Got Kenny, some practice swings. Who's twirling the pill here? Number 43 for the Pirates. Don Robinson? Nice pitch. Ooh, so they gave the corner. Last time we, we watched, they were not giving that. Well, that was a rookie pitcher. Yeah, but we've seen that a few times now. I feel like we've walked away from almost every game being like, whoop, that pitcher's pegging the spot he wants to, and they're just not giving him the call. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, okay. Sex appeal. 10 out of Who 10. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I think that was Kent Tekulve. We're learning a lot. They just yeah. turned the lights on, Jake. It's huge. Ooh. Getting darker and colder for Pirates fans here. So, yeah, this skinny can look at that practice swing, just chopping down at it. This is Don Robinson. I like everything about Kenny, man. Big guy, good stance. Look at that. That's a nice piece of hitting. Man, for what about what is about to unfold this inning? You got a ball that dropped in front of the right fielder that he probably catches on a normal baseball field, and then Kenny slaps it off the shortstop's glove. Not an easy play. No, that would have been a highlight real yeah. play. But if you're a Pirates fan, you're going to be kicking yourself by the end. Ah, of the dude, if he made baseball that baseball field again, if that doesn't go off concrete, yeah, this is awful place. <laughs> Look at Eddie. Of, <laughs> oh my God. That's what it's all about, people. Uh, can I ask a question people might sure. get upset with me about? What did Sex. Eddie Murray go on to do after? Did he ever become a coach or manager? He was king of the world. Yeah, like what was his post-baseball career? I'll look it up. Did he coach briefly? I don't think so, but I don't know. Not Eddie Murphy. Jesus, Wikipedia. Get it right. Yeah. What is Eddie Murphy? Look doing? at that stance, man. Ready to just pounce. Yeah. Nice pitch. It is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don Robinson. Good for you. Oh, he was charged with insider trading. It's tough. Not ideal. Ooh, spat on that. Guy. Yeah, it's a nice break. Um, the SEC alleged in a civil claim that Murray had approximately this was the age of sidewinders two hundred and thirty-five thousand in illegal profits. And I also think it's pretty important. The Orioles starter Dennis Martinez got pulled after one point one in this game. Ooh, dude, who's this pitcher? Did you dude, ever tell me? Yeah, it's Don Robinson. I've been screaming it at you. Nasty breaking ball. Three times silver slugger. Look at this again. This is just a mismatch on this one. That's a, nice That's a curve really ball. nice curve. Where that starts and ends up. Holy smoke, D Rob. Damn, Murray agreed to settle the SEC civil charges by paying a total of three hundred and fifty eight grand. Yeah. Not what I was hoping. Stays to find. on the curveball, chopper to short. Do they get it? Camera. Oh, Ooh. I like that play. Yeah, they know they know they're not going to double up Murray, so just see if he is is keep an eye on Kiko at third. I get that. I like that play by the. Was that the second baseman nope. threw it over there? Big game, Red River, Red River shootout. Ooh. Yeah, been to that game. Not that one. 
still before I'm born. Ten years. Actually, this game might be on my birthday, too. What day was this game played? Ah, Thursday. 13th. Doug? Desinus? Desinces? Having a tough World Series. One for 13. He's trying his hardest, though. The Sinsays. Nice. The Sinsays. He's playing third base for your O's. Yeah. Tough to, tough to replace Brooks. Ooh, where's that? Yeah, man. This pitcher is everything I'm about. Just got an email from that dentist I went to one time in L.A. James, please stay safe and pray for your health. Yeah. Huge. Thanks, dentist. Big hack. Big daddy hacks. I like that. I like this pitcher. Guys were swinging back then. Those World Series as a World Series, those uniforms as a World Series uniform are kind of tough. I mean, it does feel like a video game. And this is a day game on a terrible field. Like, none of this feels World Series. None of this feels a special game or a different game. There's a vibe you need. This ain't it. It's not giving it to you. Look at the different shades of fake grass. Yeah. If you're going to have all fake grass, just make them all the same shade. Football field. Whoa. Hello. Wow. Trying to murder him? Jeez. Ninety-some miles per hour. Pasadena. Hey, uh, <laughs> did you find out who that relief pitcher was? You're joking. You're absolutely joking. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Damn. Sidewinder, right? It's the fifth time. I thought this was Robinson. Yeah. Okay. I told you who was in the pen, too. Damn. It's like Ken Vula or something like that. It's a weird name. Kent Tecolve. Tecolve. Yeah. Does he have the best career ever or the worst? Uh, Tecolve, one-time All-Star, racked up some more. Ooh. Straight back. Yeah, Kent Tecolve. He was a stud. This guy's putting together Tecolve spelled awesome, too. Yeah. With a K? Would not have guessed that. Oh, gross. Look at this yeah. picture of him. I am not a Sidewinder guy. Please and no thank you. Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude. The one cutaway to the bullpen was phenomenal. Kent Tecolve. Well, he's not in yet. Not in yet. First and third, we've had a good at-bat going yeah, he's, for a little he's bit. Yeah, he's battling him. Drop that nasty curve. There it is. There it is. No check swings. No check swings. That's one of, that's one of the biggest takeaways. Yeah. People bunt it all the time, and then every check swing just got no call. He didn't swing. Checked it up. Like, that's their thought process. That's a swing in today's game, right? Oh, yeah. Very much so. I think the batter it doesn't even ask. It just kind of walks away. Yeah. No, nope, not throwing that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this guy looks powerful. That was a really nice pitch. Should have had him right there. Like, you tidy up this guy's hair a little bit, and he looks 2000s. Early 2000s. No high strike back then. Dude, that's a tough, it's a tough break. Base is loaded for Gary Renicky. Oh, I kind of like those jackets. Look at this dude. <laughs> it's the king, man. <laughs> How old was he? I, I have it. Somewhere on. between 20 and 150. Here he is as an old man. Look at this. Dude, just Google Kent. To Colve or whatever, however you pronounce his name. He pitched with. Look at this picture. Ball behind his back. 
How do you like? It's a grasshopper wearing sunglasses throwing sidearm at you. Love Kentucky. Keith Jackson in Dallas. Here we go. Yeah, that's great. Texas State Fair. Here's a nice little break. See, they started... Okay, this is a milestone for us. They started using the in-between pitcher and getting warmed up. Yeah, not a commercial. Commercial for their own thing. Yeah, not bad. Someone commented on the uh, last video and was like, um, I, I can't believe you guys said I wish they went to commercial. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this is better than yeah. just watching a guy warm up. All right. Dude, Tecolve played till he was 42. He had a 16-year career. Yeah, he's a stud. A 25 war for a relief guy. At 40 years old, he... He threw in 90 games. He's only 32 this season. Keith, we kind of want the World Series. Yeah, he got Cy Young votes and MVP votes in this season. Chuck Tanner, the manager of your Pirates, by the way. Chuck Tanner? Chuck Tanner. He got... uh, he got, All right, okay. he got 64 votes for Cy Young. Kent to call that. 94 games. What a stud. What an absolute monster. So, baseball reference says you pronounce it. Look at that shirt. I love Tent. It says you pronounce it Te Call V. Te Call V. Te Call V. Look at that hat up close. His nickname was Teak. My God. Oh, my God. Another stud coming up. I think we got a pinch hitter. This is the game of looks, huh? Yeah, this is this has been the all-style game. Easily. So, I think we got a pinch hitter. Yeah, Lowenstein. John Lowenstein. 143 for the series. Pinch hitting for Gary Renicky. Lowenstein for Renicky. This whole game's a swag off. From the uniforms to the sunglasses. God, I can't wait to watch this guy's stuff. Look at this string bean. Did you see Cassell? Cassell, I want to say things that people just get so mad at. Yes. It doesn't sound like he's talking to a booth, which is what I said last time Cassell was on the call. Right. It just sounds like there's two guys doing the game, and then Cassell is in another booth saying whatever he's saying. They turn his mic on every now and then. He's a legend. You get to do what you want when you're a legend. Oh, my God. I love his band. I mean. Catcher says I want it down. Every closer back then was just like Jeff Nelson. Fastball tailing away and then slider coming in. Got him. Ooh. Tink's troop. Tink's troop, baby. I'm all about him. I mean, this is one of my favorite finds. Those glasses are kind of coming back. No one would ever pitch with them on. No. No. Uh, We'll see. Can't find it. (laughs) Look how bad that place looks. (laughs) <laughs> what a bad stadium. Do you like how he just goes hands on the knees? Yeah. This is pre-set up. Oh. I realized you were going backwards hat. Kiko gave you a pump fake from third there. Oh. Got a piece of the catcher. Yeah. Checks on him. Nice little jaw in there. He is a string beam. Yeah, exhale. These two teams play a game. Yeah, it's sailed to Colvin. It'll be a tough day. Tough, Big, tough day at the office. All tall, skinny pitcher team. And you go righty from lefty, too. I like the way he just goes hands on his yeah. knees. Like he's waiting around all boards. Like, dude, we're on your time. 
Ooh. Left it in the middle. A lot of plate. Okay. One run will score. Two runs will score. Two RBI, double, two birds in scoring position, literally and figuratively. <laughs> a lot of plate. It's tough to see. Hey, I know you you mock my game of inches sometimes, but fly ball to right in that line drive near Stargell at first. Those catch some webbing. Of course, not watching this. You can do that in a lot of places. Give me those jackets. They look like they're playing dress up. Feed me those. <laughs> they look like they're part of a school play. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's everywhere you turn. You got a mustache and some nice hair. Billy Smith. Billy Smith all day. Uh, I haven't been paying full attention to this, but a lot of the guys have been wearing just one batting glove. I noticed that. I don't know how many have worn two, but Billy Smith has two. But in all of these that we've done. one glovers, yeah. One, you don't Sweet see, Lou was you don't, one glove. Yeah, you oh. don't, oh, they're walking them just to load the bases. Second and third. The, Billy Smith. Who are they walking to get? To get to. It's got to be like the pitcher with so, the bases loaded. Billy Smith is pitch hitting for Rich Dower. You knew that. Mm-hmm. Dave Skaggs. The catcher? The catcher is supposed to hit. Um, and I think we're going to get a pinch hitter for him. Skaggs is coming out. Dempsey trotting in from the bullpen, and all of a sudden... This is where you have to give a man credit. <laughs> now he comes here he comes. It didn't make any sense. And there and he's proud. This is what we talked about at the start of the ball game, gentlemen. Weaver saving these left-handed pinch hitters for the right moment. And it's proved out for him. You second-guess this guy once, you second-guess him twice, but somehow it proves out. That's they great. Back to that inning when he let Sammy Stewart bat for himself. And you were openly critical, Don, and I felt the same way. <laughs> talking about the butt situation. Well, that too, you were, yes. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Howard goes in, man. Uh, he, you second guess him once. You second guess him twice. Yeah, I think he's used to doing solo shit because he like doesn't have conversations. He uses his third consecutive pitch. Those shots of... So this is Terry Crowley. Pinch hitting. I mean, most of us are familiar with Terry Crowley. Number 10. 2.2 career war. Oh, yeah. Two-time World Series champ. Let's see what he did this year. Um, God, limited action, but he hit well. And he hit 317. Oh, my God. He barely played. 63 at bats. Well, what's his deal? Did he get traded over? Was he hurt? Is he just a bench guy? Just a bench guy. Bench dude. <laughs> 2.2 career war. Teak. I'm rooting for Teak pretty hard. I, I know the outcome, though. Ooh, wow. I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, umpires were always bizarre. Uh, maybe it crossed. No. It could have crossed. It definitely, we caught Halfway. it. Halfway, absolutely. No, it could have crossed. When it got to the plate, it was in the other batter's box. It's a nice chopper. There, there he is. is. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, he's being calm right there. And he just started screaming. For no particular reason. Hey! Foul ball. He's yelling at the pitch from before. It's got to be gassed. I wonder how many pitches he threw regularly. I mean, is that his one pitch? Just a like a two seamer. I think he threw one like drop ball. He's got a fastball and an off speed. His 
Fastball is the two seamer that yeah. t- runs away. They probably called it a sinker. And Dempsey. Don't forget Rick Dempsey. <laughs> because in my opinion, that's the man he might go to. Dude. Howard, man. Oh. That oh, fell right ball, into yeah. the sweet spot. Both of the big rips he gave up just ended up grooving right in there. I mean, it had the movement, but it was just right under the barrel. I love him. I mean, it's not good. You, I love him. You're like him ironically. That's not good stuff. He's he's an all timer. I think at the time this was peak. I think I think maybe boxing. I mean, I've heard his boxing calls with Ali yes. and stuff, and they're fen- they're phenomenal. Whatever he's doing in this World Series doesn't flow. There's no flow. No flow. No flow. Cassell just comes in. The other two have to shut up. He's trying he's, to create moments. He's trying to create his all time boxing calls. Yes. Oh man, chopper over the third baseman. Just like that, nothing happens in this game. But you could put up five runs in a hurry. Yeah, this is kind of a weird rally, huh? This is brutal. Well, there's that ball again, just a high hopper, and there's a artificial surface base hit. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Everything about this blows. I'm liking it. No. Yeah. The only thing that's good is uh, Teak. On the bump. All the looks. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the individual. The gameplay and the baseball product. I mean, it's been. Look at this guy. <laughs> that was the pitcher. Was it the pitcher? Stoddard? I mean,. It, it was 0 for 9. In, it's be, was that right? his first big league at bat? Because the only stat they put up there was 0 for 9 in the minor leagues. Yeah, he's a pitcher. He, that might be his only career hit. Let's see. Not too many pitching stats. Standard batting. I mean, he had he had two lifetime regular season hits in 20 at bats. What years? So he's a 100 career hitter. Did he have any? At- 84 and 86. So, yeah, I think. So that was his first ever hit. MLB hit, yeah. Was an RBI in the World Series. That's baseball, baby. That's awesome. This is great. Hugs? Weird hug. Kick. Out of here. No, I'm all in. If it was just him, it'd be poetry. It'd be awesome. Well, don't let the other guys bring him down. Let him work. I'm over the other guys. He needs to understand. That's the other pitch. Let me see it again. Just like floats in. Yeah. What is that? (laughs) I think it's like a floater. (laughs) It's like a drop ball is what I would guess he calls it. Coming up next. So they're saying he's overworked. Interesting. Oh, man. This is, uh, like, if you were to ask me sure. how this inning unfolded, like, right. it would be like, did the Orioles just, like, they scored six runs. They must have, like, it's like, no. They, like... Bored them and dunked them and it's baseball, baby. Concrete ground balled them to death. But that I mean, guy getting his first big league hit is that's awesome. Fun. I mean, man, I'm I'm looking at the the right fielder, the first ball of this inning. Bloop. It didn't even bloop. Well, Kiko, our guy. Yeah, if he dives and catches that, it's a whole new. 
Because then the second, the shortstop probably isn't shading the bag and probably gets that gr- that screamer. But it's what makes it a beautiful what's that, sport. What's fallacy of the predetermined outcome? Something like that. Are we gonna get a replay? Or no, they're just gonna talk about it. Got it. A lot of hits. Absolutely right. A lot of hits. 26 man. hits thus far. Oof, that was a nice pitch. That one had a little in on it, so maybe he's sliding that's his, it a little bit. I think that's his slider. The other's is two-seam, and the float pitch is just a bad two-seamer. Just a floater? I think that's a mistake pitch. Yeah, it's a floater. Oh, punched him. But it's academic? A.K. it doesn't matter? Yeah. Is that what that means? I don't think so, but that's how I like to picture it. Well, that's kind of what he meant because he said they sent, they sent him, but it's academic because he struck out, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But how does that work? I don't understand the phrase in there. I don't know. But it's academic. Like it's over? I don't know. I don't understand because that. Because he's already struck out. All right. I mean, like we said, there's no ex- there's a no extra innings or walk off. So that's kind of that game. And the rest of the series unfolds. I mean, the Orioles win that game and they go up 3-1. Pirates rally back. They win the next three. Second definition of academic. Okay. The first one is relating to education and scholarship. Know that, know that one. Familiar. The second definition of academic, not of practical rev- relevance. How about that? I had no idea you could it, it work. That was the second not definition. relevant. Academics. Yep. Yeah. Living it. Like my winter jacket on a summer day. Nice it's just academic. I, yeah. Not relevant. Yeah. Um, all right. That's, that's I think shitty. people are going to give me a lot of guff. Yeah. For my Howard I'm Cas- giving you guff. Howard Cassell takes. Uh, I think he, he was pretty brutal there. It's great. Uh, he made that World Series into the Howard Cassell show. And not <laughs> the Baltimore <laughs> versus the Pirate show. Plus the surface, everything in the uniforms, everything felt weird. Teak's the big winner for me. I'm so glad we don't have concrete fields anymore. Yeah, concrete fields were pretty brutal. As it's what they had at the time. I I was in on that. Cassell's doing his own thing, sure. Um, lay out for that ball right field. Make a play. Yeah. Make a play. Well, I made it a business decision. Worked out for the Pirates. They win this World Series? Yeah. They go down 3-1 to one in this series, and... Uh, Pirates come back. We are family. Good Blow for out four zero win and a four one win. I believe that's good. Suck it, Orioles. Sorry, O's. Sorry, Ken Singleton. We like you. We like you, and you lost. This was watching baseball.